Hey guys, Chris here back from Westside Dive and welcome back to you guys and glad to see you. Um, today I was just thinking about, let's, let's talk about spear gun reels. Um, if you're just beginning your spearfishing journey um, and, and you come in and you want a spear gun, we, we don't really recommend you know, going uh, with a reel right away. We do have some guns that are that are connected and come with reels. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it's a kind of a whole nother level. Um, we, we just recommend getting your basic spear gun, you know, getting your feet wet, so to speak, getting your um, gills wet but um yeah so today i want to talk about the different kinds of reels and to me there's there's kind of a couple uh, styles so let's get into that okay guys what i have here in front of me is are three different spear fishing spear gun reels um, to me, they kind of kind of come in two different categories. You have your your flatter horizontal kind of reels that mount kind of flush to your to, to your gun this way. Now, I'll show you that in a minute. And then you have kind of your vertical reel, kind of up and down. Um, and really, the, how you can tell the difference between horizontal and vertical is uh, horizontal. You're going to be reeling the reel up when it's kind of flush to the gun this way. Um, so so along the gun. And then the vertical reels, you're going, to, you're going to be kind of reeling kind of up and down uh, away from the, the gun. So it's uh, vertically and then horizontally. Let's go through that. Here we have our kind of two of our more popular uh, horizontal spear gun reels. Um, these, these reels tend to be your more basic reels. They actually look a little bit more of your durable kind of a reel. Um, this is a reel I've had for many years. Uh, these Aussie reels come in all different colors under the rainbow. Um, really popular these days. You can put them on a lot of different guns. Um, but the, the, really the basic features of, these, of this style of reel is, uh, let's start off with your drag. So the drag is really gonna be kind of centered around this, uh, this long bolt that goes through the entire reel. The drag really basically you turn it one way and it makes it harder to reel. You turn it the other way, it makes it looser to reel and a lot easier. Same with these guys. It's just, it's just a lock down and an open up. Another feature with these guys, you'll see the line guide. Um, there's, there's not, it's not like a fishing line guide where you actually have a, a little piece that, that, that guides your line back into your reel. It's just, it's the line's gonna come through here and run out. And once you reel it up, it's all gonna kind of spool up in, into the, into the, the thicker spool area, and it'll, it'll be fine. It's not gonna get tangled up or anything. A lot of the materials are kind of a harder plastic or a composite kind of plastic, so um, they're pretty durable. If you drop stuff on them, they're, they're gonna be. You know fairly okay but they do they, they can break over time so you want to be careful you, you don't want to drop your gun and right on the reel these things might break um, the other feature is the mounting side that's going to be mounted onto your spear gun um, you can see this guy has kind of this rectangular kind of area where where this this will actually slide on and off a, a mount that's on to your spear gun i'll show you that in a minute um, these guys would put a lot of these on wood guns, <clears throat> so you can see the different holes. We'll line that up, um, you know, properly on your uh, wooden spear gun. You know, measure and drill it, and you know, it's, it'll be secured that way right into your gun. This is your basic vertical spear gun reel. You have the the arm on one side, and this is going to be your basic kind of lockdown. This is not the drag. Actually, the drag is through here. So basically, what you're going to do is get this to a, a point where it's. It's, it has bearings inside, so you're going to get this to a point where the, the reel line is a little bit difficult to come out. You don't want it super, super hard because that'll, you know, when you shoot, the, the fish will rip off. So you just want this kind of at a, at a level where the, the spear gun line is going to come out. Then on this side, this is, a, this is an adjustable arm. So as you, as you move this arm in and out, it'll uh, actually create the drag. Uh, create the, the tightness uh, that you want. So if you have a, a fish that's on there and it's running, you, 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 can, you can tighten this up and make it a little bit harder, a little bit wear that fish out a little bit more. So that's your basic setup. And uh, we put a lot of these on wood guns or, or, the, or the patho spear guns and, and these, these holes line up really nicely. Again, if it's going on a, a wooden spear gun, we're gonna, we're gonna measure and line these up perfectly and you know measure, measure twice and drill once. It'll be nice and secure. So here we have kind of the, the landing area, I call it, of uh, where your spear gun uh, reel is gonna go. A, a lot of wood gun makers ha kind of have this, this, this flatter area here, this flatter piece. Uh, we, we, we do put a lot of these Aussie reels onto these wood guns. Again, like I said, you have your, your holes to measure. We'll disassemble this, uh, put the base 
uh, you know, kind of uh, make sure it's nice and centered, not too far off to the left, to the left or right, not too far forward or back, but which but just right. So we we'll get these get these uh, you know kind of lined up really nice, drill and you know assemble everything back on, and then put the re the real line on, and then basically you have a super nice setup. Uh, a lot of different colors these days to match your bands and to your line. We have uh, this one obviously probably will look maybe like a pink pink reel on there or pink and blue. It's you know looks super sexy. For these guys, you can. You can also add a vertical reel, uh, super easy. You know, like I said, the holes are pretty exposed. So you just line it up, make sure it's all, you know, centered in the proper area and away you go. So going back to this guy, you can actually see it. it there's, there's kind of a carve out and, and that's actually for a mounting piece. So we would actually put the mounting piece onto the gun. Again, we'll center it and line it up really nicely. And then what this reel does, it actually slides on and off. Um, and, and I don't know if you can see it's 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 a little bit thinner on on one side and thicker on the on the other side so it's it's thicker toward the front so as you put it on it, it gets tighter and tighter as, as it goes towards the gun and that's where the real line and all the lines gonna be pulling anyway so it's always going to be kind of tighter going that way you can also you know secure this down with another screw or glue it down really tight if you don't really want to ever take it on and off but sometimes you travel and so it's good you want to you know you know take this reel off uh, cut the line and, and put that away keep it secure and, and the gun will be easier to travel with okay guys that's a wrap for today we appreciate you checking our video out please give us a like subscribe to the page and we'll see you next time